in the mic and you have three minutes. My father gave me a long last name. It's Amon Chukwu. It means I know God. And I'm glad to say that I do. I'm here today to talk about uh, this book here. My name is John Amon Chukwu, as I stated earlier. It's called It's Perfectly Normal for Students 10 and Up. This book details all kinds of sexual images, pictures of elderly people nude, pictures of an individual who's in a wheelchair with his penis out. All of these sexual pornographic images are made available and placed at the fingertips of children. And I'm sure Dr. Cruz, I don't know if you knew about this before you signed on, but hopefully this is something that you can address and deal with because this is immoral and asinine to allow children to be able to see this. Also, this book even shows images of two women having sex, a man and a woman having sex, and two men having sex. That's not perfectly normal. Who decides what's normal? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you or do parents decide what should be placed at the fingertips and allowed to be taught to their children in this school system? I'll read some of this for you. It says after a bit, a person's vagina becomes moist and slippery and the clitoris becomes hard. After a bit, a person's penis, Pastor, Pastor, penis becomes gonna, erect, stiff me. and larger. Pa Pastor, sometimes a bit of clear Pastor. fluid that may contain two sperm comes out of the tip of the penis and makes Pastor. it wet. Can we, sir? I'm sorry. I, is I'm, there, did I, was it something I said? <clears throat> was it something I said? If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? You see, we have perverts that are perverting our kids. And you all sit back smug in your chairs and celebrate diversity, equity, and inclusion, but you don't want me to read it so you can hear it. Why? Does it bother you? Yes or no? You can't answer that question. You want to know why? Because politically speaking, you can't say that it's wrong. You probably are a Christian man. But many Christians today have become more Democrat than Christian. Some Republicans have become more Republican than Christian. I'm not trying to win an election. I don't get my talking points from the RNC or the DNC. I get my talking points from the B-I-B-L-E, from the Bible. And you don't want me to read the filth because it exposes the truth. How dare you tell me to stop reading it? If you don't want to hear it, why should the children have to see it? Pastor, your time is, is, the time is up. Thank you. That makes two of us. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, Pastor. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. This was beautiful. Yo, I said this before. I'm going to say it again. The Democrat Party is the party of evil, and that's the problem. Think about it for a second. Think about it. As a Democrat, somehow in 2023, you have to accept everything that comes with the party. It doesn't matter how evil the ideology is. It doesn't matter if it's abortion, the killing of an unborn child. It doesn't matter if it's pushing for the transitioning of kids, the removal of their genital. You just have to accept it as a Democrat somehow. And now Democrats are just acting like this type of book should be allowed in the classroom they look all dumbfounded like oh really is it is it that bad yes bro it's bad and the list goes on and somehow if you are opposing these evil activities they'll call you racist misogynist they'll say you hate gay people you can't make this up bro god bless this man this is the type of man we need in today's society let me know what you think about this in the comment section god bless you